Hey guys, it's Captain Daniel Hyun and we're here in New York City. Right behind me you can see the Brooklyn Bridge and today we have an amazing guest for you, okay? So her name is Rosa, she's a very good friend of mine. She lives in New York City also. She actually just recently went on a date with an Asian male. So let's see and talk about her experience. Who is my friend Rosa? Rosa is a model, entrepreneur, hustler. She's amazing, is an amazing friend of mine. And I'm gonna introduce her real quick. Rosa? <laughs> it's been a while, how you been? I've been really good, thanks for having me. Yeah, so Rosa here, you know, we became really close friends, got to know each other. She lives in New York, I live in New York. Let us know about her experience she had with dating in New York, but specifically, on um, experience on dating an Asian man. So Rosa, how'd you meet this guy? Um, I met this guy in a library. Um, he immediately um, gave me a call after I met him and I thought, wow, I've never had a guy do that. And it showed me that he's an alpha male, that he's taking charge, which was really intriguing. I was really excited to go on the date with him. Now, I had a preconceived notion that Asian men are more shy and closed off and don't really approach women, which is why I actually never went on the date with an Asian guy before. But the date was really pleasant. He came in, he just brought his full energy. He took the charge and just took over the whole entire thing. It was really fun. So I want to like harp on that real quick. So you said you did have preconceptions about Asian men and from your words it sounds like you, you think that you had this belief that Asian men are a little bit shy, they don't really yeah. approach, especially, you know, Caucasian women like you. Yeah. We're already Caucasian. Yeah. Okay. On that note, when you when he approached you and said hi, what was your first impression of him? So when he walked in, he was acting all confident and immediately I thought, like, oh my gosh, this guy's so cocky. But it it was really kind of comforting in the sense because I'm usually the one who's taking charge and leading and bringing my energy and this guy just took the lead and it made me want to sit down and let him take charge. Yeah. Yeah, so one thing about Rosa is she does have a dominant personality uh, because I mean she's lives in New York, right? She's a woman living in New York, she's a hustler, she's an entrepreneur and she models too part-time and full-time sometimes. So I could definitely tell that that's really amazing to hear that an Asian male, you know, had that alpha masculine energy. Mm -hmm. My next question too is how come, I think you already answered it, but you, uh, how come you never dated an Asian guy before? First off, an Asian man has never approached me, so that's number one. Number two, I think I was really comfortable um, going out with whoever asked me, and that's really repetitively have been the same type. and. Obviously, if you ask me, how's that working for you? Not very well. And I think dating an Asian man has opened up my eyes to different cultures and dating outside of the one type that I have been dating. So I guess my next question, what was the difference um, that you felt from dating an Asian guy compared to other guys you dated? Was it the culture? Like, what did you experience while oh, dating? Oh, huge difference. So the type that I did date, I knew all the ins and outs of communication, how they date, what they like and they don't like. And um, actually, this is gonna be funny if a guy that I dated is watching this, but because I dated an Asian man for the first time, I actually went on Google and I got to research the culture, the food, the people, how they communicate, because I didn't know, and it just became this big, big adventure. And I don't think that would have happened unless he first approached me. So it was a really, really cool experience. That's so awesome to hear. I, Cause I know like, here's the thing, Rosa has, you know, tried probably Asian food like everyone else, but I think experiencing the culture with the Asian man was a little different, right? Because I think you told me that you probably, you tried Korean food with him, right? Because he, he took me to a restaurant and every time he would bring something cultural, I knew what he was talking about because <laughs> I Googled it. <laughs> no, that's awesome so, to hear. No, yeah. so you experienced the culture in a different way oh, by mm -hmm. dating this Asian guy. So let's wrap this up, right? So now that, I remember that you mentioned that when you, dated this Asian guy, you start noticing, you know, more Asian guys on the street about how they dress. So explain that a little bit to me. Like it was like you told you called me, it was like, man, I've been noticing most Asian more Asian guys in New York City, because there is a lot of Asian yeah. guys here mm -hmm. out yeah. here. Um, so you told me that you noticed more of them, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, after my first date, I woke up the next morning and I was walking around the city and I just started noticing like, oh my God, there's so many Asian men in this area. It was in Upper East Side and I never seen so many Asians. But I think whatever you focus on, whatever you think about is what you see most of. 
I was like, wow, they're everywhere. They're, I'm surrounded. And so, yeah, I started noticing the way they dress, the way they walk, how well put together they are. And I never really noticed that before. So based on this experience, you know, it sounds like it was a very positive experience. Yeah. Um, and I know obviously it's not like you're specific, right? Like from now on, I'm only going to date Asia. It's not that, but yeah. you are, you know, it sounds like you had a very positive experience with your first date with an Asian mm -hmm. man. Yeah. So would you say now you are more open to dating Asian males based on this experience? Absolutely. I've experienced a lot of new things and I think the way I felt around the guy I dated, the Asian guy that I dated, has made me feel more feminine because of his masculine approach. So I think that's been really different. So there you go. Rosa said it. Based on our experience, guys, approach that girl. Pro approach that beautiful girl that you see and you could literally change her life experience and have her more open to dating, you know, any male, but mostly specifically Asian males. So Rose, I really appreciate you doing this for us and you know showing that encouragement for my Asian brothers. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Bye. All right, Captain out. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you liked it. And make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and watch all our other videos. Great news too. Every Monday, we'll be putting out a new weekly video. That's right, we've got educational seminars, street interviews, uh, fun infield pickup videos, and anything else we can come up with that's fun for you guys to watch. So check back.